If we open our computers, our smartphones, or any other electronic device, we'll certainly notice that there are always one or more electronic cards. In these cards, we will find small black parallelipeds called integrated circuits. In this video, we will see how integrated circuits are made and why they are the basis of all electrical devices. JAWS, for over a decade, has been providing its customers with the best solutions for their supply chain, and in their catalog, you will find any kind of circuit boards, PLC, PCB, and DCS for industrial control systems. The integrated circuit is an essential part of computing systems. The external layer is made of package, a plastic material, which isolates the internal components while leaving some pins uncovered on the outside. These pins connect the integrated circuit to the printed circuit board through the so-called wire bonding technique. Some wires made of gold, aluminum, or brass, whose diameter only extent to microns, connect the pins to the DIE, a small semiconducting plate, usually made of silicon, upon which the integrated circuit board is realized. The latter can be made up of millions of basic electric components, such as transistors, diodes, capacitors, and resistors. The DIE is realized thanks to a process called miniaturization, which allows it to be more reliable, to have better performance, and finally, smaller dimensions. The term integrated refers to the presence of a high concentration of basic electric components in a small area whose job is to process the incoming signal. The scale integration of an integrated circuit gives an indication of its complexity, roughly measuring how many transistors are contained inside a circuit. The process of making the DIE is very complex. It is made of silicon which is the second most abundant element on the Earth's crust after oxygen. It is easily found in the sand, but since it must always be melted to other materials in order to become a semiconductor, several processes are required to obtain these chemical properties. Firstly, thanks to sophisticated technologies, it goes through a purification process that creates thin sheets of pure silicon called wafers. In the next step, called lithography, the silicon disk is coated with photosensitive material to expose the various wafers to ultraviolet rays. The exposure is obtained by using a mask on which the design of the microcircuit is printed. A lens concentrates the drawing in order to make it smaller. This process is repeated many times, creating several layers. After this step, the areas that have been exposed become soluble and are removed from the wafers. In this way, the whole intricate circuit can appear. After that, atoms of different elements are added to the exposed parts. This operation is called doping. In this way, thanks to the presence of impurities in its crystal lattice, silicon becomes a semiconductor. Subsequently, the material obtained is washed. A protective layer is placed above, and finally, a copper coat that fills all the spaces left is applied, making the DIE smooth. The investments necessary to buy the machines which build these circuits are very expensive. But thanks to a great number of units manufactured and the creation of economies of scale, the cost of one unit is drastically decreased over time making this technology available for almost every computing system. Microprocessor technology is currently the most popular technique for the construction of the CPU and GPU and is used for almost every modern computer. If you want to know how a CPU works, watch our previous video. If you found this video useful, please let us know by leaving a like and a comment. You can also share it 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Visit our website, jawscompany.com, to find out more about our next projects.